when the pandemic first started, uh, I was currently finishing up my freshman year at Jones College, and spring break was right around the corner. And we all got a school email, all students got a school email saying we'd have two weeks off instead of one week. And long story short, two weeks turned into all the students ever coming back. We just all did online. And after that semester, I went to summer school online. So we weren't allowing face-to-face at Jones at the time. But I wasn't a fan of online school, in my opinion, or personally, because, I mean... You can't really meet anybody, you can't talk to anybody, and you can't see anybody. I just didn't like that. I couldn't learn that way. But the three main concepts I'll be talking about in this presentation are self-esteem from Chapter 1, communication and close relationships from Chapter 11, and physical needs from Chapter Chapter 1. All three of those are from the Interplay textbook. The first concept I'll be talking about is self-esteem, which is from Chapter 1. I would say I had a pretty good self-esteem, high self-esteem before the pandemic. Because I was meeting people, I was going out to restaurants and bars and stuff. Uh, And I was having fun. I had nothing to worry about. But when the lockdown happened, I mean, that changed everything for me. I mean, they shut stuff down. I couldn't see anybody. I got lonely. I lost my job. Couldn't go to school. It was just terrible. So pretty much what I did is I stayed home and played video games all locked down. But the second concept I've been talking about is communication and close relationships. Uh, Between my family... And friends, I would see my family relationships greatly improved, actually, because, I mean, I could, well, actually, when I was at Jones, I lived at, I lived on campus, and they made us, they sent us all home because they didn't want us there on campus because of COVID, so I had to come live back at home with my mom and dad, and I got to spend a lot of time with them. I got to spend time with family. It was great. I mean, I actually learned how to duff hunt from my grandfather, who's a big hunter. He loves to hunt. He loves to deer hunt, dove hunt. He does it all. But, so I, he taught me how to dove hunt, and that kind of meant a lot to me, because we never spent time together like that. So I know, I know how to dove hunt now. <laughs> but, with my friends, I couldn't talk to anybody, because... We were still doing the online class thing, which I didn't like, and I didn't like it. (laughs) But another thing I want to add to that concept is that, with the family member part, is that my my great grandmother, who's old, she's in she lives in a nursing home, and during the lockdown I couldn't see her at all. Like they wouldn't let anybody in, and if you had if you wanted to go in, you had to make an appointment. And wear a mask. I didn't like wearing masks. And that kind of made me upset because you couldn't really see, I couldn't see my grandmother. And I started to miss her. Made me upset. And she actually got COVID, as a matter of fact. And that, that made me so upset. I mean, but luckily she made it out. She made it out. Fortunately. And I'm so glad she made it out. But the third concept I've been talking about is physical needs. I think we all need to be with people, like physically, like not virtually, because, I mean, you you don't get that same effect, you know? It's hard to describe. Like, I mean, talking to people virtually is okay, but being with them, like, in the same room is different. Uh, Especially, 